Let's chat. One week from this Saturday, you've got an opportunity to get out, enjoy the scenic city, get some exercise and help out a very, very worthy cause. It is the Open Arms Care Bike Ride and here to talk more about that. Stacy Landrum on the far end. Stacy, good you. morning to you. Cindy Deering here in the center and Stacy and I'm sorry, Crystal Goins and Crystal, you are the executive director of Open Arms. So we're going to begin with you. Tell us exactly for those who may not be familiar with what Open Arms is. Fill us in. Okay. Open Arms Care is an intermediate care facility for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. So our staff are mentors and coaches and teachers. We try to help our clients become as independent as possible and be a part of much as much part of their own life. How many folks do you care for at any one time at Open Arms? Um, well, we're across the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. um, but in the Chattanooga area, we serve 72 clients. 72. Mm -hmm. you got your hands full, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tell me about the guy down here on the far end. Where does he come in? Stacy is one of our direct support professionals that's on the floor working with our clients day in and day out. Stacy, what do you do on a typical day, or is there such a thing? Well, it's it's never the same. I, I work. My shift is at night, but mm -hmm. uh, I really. Love, we, we take care of, of course, our, uh, the house I work at, we have four ladies, right. our clients. We take care of them, make sure they have something to eat, make sure they're, they're uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have to do programs with them, you know, certain exercises. Sure. And uh, we do, uh, we have one of our ladies we have to reposition. Gotcha. Uh, and, and, you know, there's this quite a... Quite Time a, fills quite a, itself up. It does. That, and we take care of their home. It's yeah. their home. And it's not really, it's yes. not a job. It's more of a calling. Though. It's a, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Cindy, tell me where you come into play in this. You've got a lot of plates you're keeping spinning <laughs> in the air. Yeah. How does it, how do you, how are you working in with the open arms care Well, folks? Chip, you know, it's Cindy's choice to celebrate and collaborate mm -hmm. our community. And then as part of that, my Outside with Cindy radio platform on WGOW, that's what we do. We, we celebrate and collaborate the outdoor culture that is so centric to our community. Right. What better way to do that than an outdoor activity that supports such a wonderful cause? You know, I'm a very in, a bike riding enthusiast. I love the river walk. Mm -hmm. So it's just this, my passion caused them to invite me to come mm -hmm. MC the event. And this is something that's going on again on the, uh, this is the 14th annual bike ride that you guys are doing and it's a week from this Saturday. Tell me what you're trying to accomplish out of this. Well, um, Open Arms Care is funded through Ten Care, but mm -hmm. uh, this is another avenue for our funding. Right. Uh, this provides our clients with other opportunities. Uh, some of our clients have these dream vacations that they want to go on, mm -hmm. so it helps to pay for cruises, trips to Graceland, um, maybe some remodeling to their home. Um, so that's what we're looking for. Awesome. And how big of a ride is going on a week from this Saturday? Oh, it's big. How <laughs> we, big? We have up, really big. Up, 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 big. Hey, listen. This is our 14th year we've done this. Right. So we're just about to get the hang of it. <laughs> you know? So we have as many as 200 riders. Really? Yes. And they love our event, Chip. And I'll tell you one reason they love it. It's out in the country. Mm -hmm. We start and end at our support office on a Mountain View Road. And they can choose one of three routes. Um, they can do 26 miles. 42 or 62 miles. You got to be any kidding. level, any Can level you of rider. 62 miles. Yeah, oh, we've got a lot of avid bike riders that love that long, that long route. Mm -hmm. But we, it was just for all, all uh, abilities. Mm -hmm. You know, some like the short, some like the long. Sure. But they like it because of the scenery. It's beautiful rural scenery. Uh, we take good care of them. We uh, we have support vehicles. Follows them if they have a flat tire or something. And with a with a ride of that extent, yeah. that can be a pretty important yeah. thing. And then we feed them when they get back. What's it cost to get involved in this? Thirty dollars before the event, thirty five mm -hmm. the day of. And what does that get you? That gets you to ride in the event. That gets you a goodie bag, a t shirt, and then mm -hmm. the cookout at the end of the meal. Wow! So and a hot show. I got a full day <laughs> planned out. Yeah, for and, this and it's real and easy. Active.com. Just go to active.com. Active.com. And again, you can also sign up at any of the area bicycle shops around yes. town, or at least yes. most of them. Registration starts at what time? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. The ride begins at eight thirty. At eight thirty. All right. You can find these three folks out there for this wonderful, wonderful cause. It is Open Arms Care. Find out more information about Open Arms and give us your website www.openarmscare.org openarmscare.org stay with us we're back with more of let's chat right after this